Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can sort an array of objects uh, by a field within that object. Um, so oftentimes in our database we might have our records and then one of the fields there might be an object structured as a list uh, and we want to be able to sort on a field in that object. So this video is going to show you how. Uh, here in this get all API endpoint looks like I have a table called features. Um, let's go ahead and run this so we can get a look at what it at what it is. Uh, so it looks like I have a couple records here. Um, we have a name, so this first record is called premium. There's an object here called details, and within there there is code and value. Um, and then we have ultra. We have code and value in this details object as well. So this object doesn't seem to be sorted uh, by any particular way. It just looks like the data is kind of in there. So let's say we actually want to sort. Uh, these objects, maybe by, let's say, the value. So we want uh, the lowest value to the highest value. Let's see how to do that. So I'm going to go into my function stack here. I'm going to add a new function in data manipulation. And then I'm going to go to loops. And then I'm going to do a for each loop, which iterates over a list of items. So I'm going to open up that new function for this for each loop. For step one, select items to loop through. Specify which items to loop through. So I'm going to want to loop through this features variable, which has um, all those records from my features table. And that variable is getting created in this query all records function. Um, so now this is going to be called item. OK. So now for define functions, um, let's go ahead and hit plus. I'm going to do data manipulation. And I'm going to do update variable. And I'm going to update this new item variable um, sort of by itself. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll hit this drop down, I'll select item, but now I'm going to use dot notation because I don't want to do uh, the entire record, I just want to do the object which is called details. So I'm going to do item dot details. And then the value, like I said, it's going to be itself, so I'm going to select item again, the variable, and do dot details. So this existing variable is being updated by itself, but now I'm going to add a filter. And the filter I'm going to add is going to be a sort filter. And there's also a video on this sort filter and some documentation if you're more curious about how this works. But you'll get a good view of it here. So I'm going to click this filter, and this window opens up. So we can select a path, the type to sort on, and ascending. So the path can be what field we want to choose. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and type in value here because we want to sort on the value. And the type, right now it says iText, which is uh, text insensitive. Uh, sort, but I'm going to go ahead down where it says values here and select number because we're sorting on numbers. And then lastly, if we want ascending or descending, so I'm going to hit the drop down and we want ascending. We want the lowest value to the highest, so I'm going to do a true Boolean for ascending. And now I'm going to hit update, I'm going to hit save, and now when I run this, we will see uh, that my objects are now sorted from lowest to highest or ascending order based on the value. So here in premium, we see uh, value 5, then 50, 100. And in ultra, we have value 99, then 500. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, you can accomplish this with a for each loop. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.